plates versus task. What is the difference? I will explain the main difference in a few seconds. Then we're going to look at some examples. And after that, we're going to go into more detail. Okay, the threads are lower level constructs, which are used for managing independent parts of execution, while the tasks provide a higher level of traction for asynchronous programming and parallel processing. And the tasks simplify thread management and offer better error handling. Now let's take a look at the code example where we're using threads. We have our main thread, which is basically starts right here inside our main method. And inside the main thread, we have a loop, which um, executes five times and prints main thread plus the number i, which keeps incrementing. And then this main thread sleeps for 500 seconds. Now on this line here, line six, we create a new thread and we pass the method count numbers. Now, if we go down here, we're going to see that the count numbers method also runs a loop and writes second thread plus i, which is our number that keeps incrementing. However, here we sleep, this second thread sleeps for one second, 1000 milliseconds. This is one second. So what do you think will happen if I run the program? You can see our code starts executing here. We create the second thread. We start the second thread. Then we go down to the main thread, which is going to execute this loop. And then we join the two threads. And then we print the thread execution completed. And the program ends here. So you might think that the second thread will print this message first. But this is not the case. Sometimes the main thread is going to print this message. And then we're going to get a message from the second thread. Or you can run it one more time and then you're going to get uh, everything reversed. The second thread is going to execute first and then the main thread. Basically, these two threads are going to run in parallel. So let's run the program and take a look what happens. Okay, let me print it here. Okay, you have the main thread, second thread, main, second, main, main, then second, main, second, second. So they do not rotate, they execute in parallel. Now let's run it one more time. Let's see if we're going to get a different output. Okay, this is similar to the last one. Okay, I had to run the program a few more times to get a different output, but you can see that here, the first thread to actually execute is the second thread, then we have the main one, then the, the main one again, second, ta, 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 until the program ends. So as the program is, there is no guarantee which thread is going to execute first. The only guarantee is that the two of them are going to run in parallel. So actually the order of execution between these two threads the second other one that we create here and the main one is determined by the operating system and it depends on various circumstances. The resources used, the system thread scheduler and so on, which means that you cannot rely on the order of execution when you have several threads running in, in parallel. Now let's take a look at a second code sample which is more or less the same program, but instead of threads, we are using using a task. Uh, we have renamed the method which used to be count numbers. Now it's count numbers async, and it's a synchronous method, which again counts from zero to four. So it's going to print this line here uh, five times. And we have also made, uh, made the main method asynchronous and returning a task in order to be able to use the uh, await 
keyword. So again, um, inside the main thread, we have our loop, uh, which again, waits for 500 milliseconds and uh, count numbers async method. We have also introduced the same delay as before. Uh, we are waiting here for one second, which is 1000 milliseconds. And you can see that instead of task sleep, I'm um, sorry, uh, instead of uh, thread sleep, we are using task delay. And here we are also using task delay. Okay, now let's run the program and see what happens. Yeah. And again, we see that the two loops are basically executed in parallel without any specific order, which is uh, exactly the same as before. Now that we saw basically the same code written in two different ways. In the first one, we're using thread. In the second one, we're using tasks. Then what is the difference? The difference is that in the first one, where we have the main thread and the second thread that we created, the order of execution is determined by the operating system. Here, in this example, we have our task and our main thread. And again, the order of execution is not guaranteed, but is um, managed by the task scheduler. Also, using tasks makes it easier to work with the asynchronous programming and provides better error handling. Okay, now let's go into more detail describing the differences between threads and tasks. And um, again, the definition and purpose, the thread is the low level concept. This is what you need to remember. Uh, it is lightweight. It gives you um, more control over your code, but also needs you to be more careful and you're going to have to manage a lot of the things on your own. On the other hand, the task is the higher level of abstraction, which was introduced with the TPL, the task parallel library, and works well with the asynchronous programming. And in 99% of your code, you're most likely to use tasks. Okay, scheduling and execution. Again, you can pause the screen and read the full text, uh, but basically the thread are typically scheduled by the operating systems. And the tasks, on the other hand, are scheduled by the task parallel library, the TPL. Okay, asynchronous program. When it comes to asynchronous program, you can use threads and tasks, but, but using tasks is actually much. When it comes to error handling and composition, again, the tasks are much easier to work with. And if you have unhandled exception within your thread, it can cause the entire application to crash. And you need, be, you need to be very careful when using threads. Again, you can pause the screen, read the full text, understand it. As always, this was a very quick tutorial, which um, looked into the differences between the threads and the tasks. It's a very, very vast topic, especially when it comes to tasks and when it comes to proper uh, usage of the threads. So go to the official documentation, go to Stack Overflow, uh, search for some code samples on Google, watch some more YouTube videos, and hopefully you will understand the difference. To summarize, the threads are lower level. They give you more flexibility, but they're harder to manage. And uh, when it comes to error handling, it, it's also much more difficult. In most of the cases, you're going to be using tasks. They're easier. There's a lot of built-in code that is going to help you with the error handling continuation. And also, they're much better to work with when it comes to asynchronous programming. That is all for today. Thank you for watching.